after sunrise or before sunset. But daylight is redder and softer than when the sun is higher in the sky. Sometimes called the magic hour by cinematographers, the shadows are less dark, highlights are less overexposed, and with the warm orange of the low sun, it's the best time of day for wildlife photography. And as we'll see, the diffuse and warm light makes for some great images. Dawn is the best time to see hares and the majestic barn owls hunting over farmland. With near 360 degree vision and excellent smell and hearing, hares are masters of evading predators. But stay hidden, sit absolutely still and they may come very close. Like this mother and son who stopped a few feet away posing for me in the dawn sunlight. Just near the lighthouse, a pair of kestrels are hunting. Their motionless mastery of the wind, something aeronautical engineers can only dream about. To maintain position, the bird flies into the oncoming wind at exactly the same speed. For lift, it extends the tips of its wings and fans its tail feathers. If the wind drops, it flaps its wings to increase air movement. A kestrel's feathers are stiffer than other falcons, and that's so they can better able to withstand the effects of bending when hovering. By stretching the necks forward, they offset themselves being blown backwards. This way, they can manage their energy with tiny pauses in the hover. A kestrel can spot a beetle from 50 meters. Get out with the dog at dawn. Take a walk. Just keep your eyes peeled and there is so much to see. So many animals and birds that are creeping around without being interrupted by human beings. You won't regret it and you'll see so much more. see little owls. These birds are often seen in orchards it prefers areas with trees and posts of perching. This one is on a golf course flitting from marker post to marker post. Owls can turn their heads 270 degrees so it's pretty easy for them to keep an eye on you. Barn owls have a large wing supporting a lightweight body. This low wing loading enables them to fly through the air very gently and hover with minimal effort. Slow flight gives the barn owls ample time to locate and pinpoint their prey on the ground below. Their feathers are very soft, another adaptation for silent flight. The feathers have a layer of tiny hairs that trap air to deaden the sound of air hitting the wing's leading edges. Near silent flight enables the birds to hear tiny sounds produced by their small prey and also to approach them undetected. Barn owl eyes are twice as light sensitive as human eyes and very movement sensitive. In near darkness, a barn owl has a brighter image and can see details in the shadows we humans would never see. Voles and shrews are 65% of the barn owl diet. And a pair of barn owls would eat three to four prey each every night. During the breeding season, a pair of barn owls will need nearly 4,000 prey items a year to feed themselves. Hunting superpower comes this at a cost. Their specially adaptive feathers are not waterproof and they can't hunt in heavy rain and so they're prone to starvation. The evening golden hour is a great time to see birds flocking to get hierarchy of warmth, safety and comfort before they roost. It's also a time when many of our other animals come out to forage and to feed. And of course, it's a time when you have a great chance of seeing predators who come to feed on them for their own survival and for population. So don't wait until you're going on holiday for the next time when you get up at dawn 
or go for a stroll at 10 o'clock at night. The golden hour awaits. Thanks for listening.